This AI automation generates AI avatars and auto posts to nine social platforms all automatically. It's an automation built in N8N here, and I'm going to walk through it step by step, but you can also download it for free. And real quick, if you don't know me, my name is Sabrina Romanov. I previously sold an AI company for millions of dollars, and now I teach AI for free. This is actually my AI avatar over on TikTok, and you can see it's gotten millions and millions of views. This video alone has 31,000 likes. This one's 22,000, 25,000. So today I'm going to break down how to make these AI avatar videos by combining perplexity for research and script writing, HeyGen for the avatar video itself, and Blotato to auto post your avatar videos to social media. Make sure you hit subscribe if you haven't already. So here's the full automation. I'm just going to walk through it at a high level first, and then we're going to set up the prerequisite accounts for perplexity, HeyGen, and Blotato. You can see the avatar videos. You can see the types of avatar videos it created here. It'll create a nice caption like this, and for things like YouTube or short form platforms like Twitter, it'll create a short title that you can use instead. And here's the same video on YouTube Shorts. You can see I just ran this automation and it successfully posted to eight platforms. I just deactivated Pinterest because I didn't put in my board ID yet. The first step here is to research industry news using Perplexity. Sign up for a Perplexity account, then on the bottom left, click Accounts, click API, go to API Keys, and this is where you will create your key. And what this does is it runs every Every day at 10 a.m., which you can configure, then it calls Perplexity to research the top 10 trending news items in your niche, the top trending real estate news items, and then it gives you a list of 10 news items as well as citations. The next step is to analyze that list of 10 news stories and select the top news stories that is most likely to go viral on social media. It should have broad appeal. Here's the list of news stories from the previous step we pass in, and then we ask Perplexity to research more information about the news story. And the final output should be a detailed report of the top story you selected. It should be dense with factual data, stats, sources, and key information. So all you have to do to set this up is make sure you have your perplexity credential here. If you don't have it, click create new credential and then copy your API key from perplexity here and then hit save. I recommend using Sonar Pro. The results are a little bit better, but if you want to save on cost, then just stick to Sonar. And here's the search recency filter. This means it will return search results within the specified time interval. It doesn't always work, however, but I still like to set it for the past day. And then similar thing here, I'm using Sonar Pro for the model. So we're really using perplexity to perform the research, select the top news story, and then compile a detailed report. Then we pass it over to ChatGPT to actually write the script. Now you could use perplexity as well to write the script, but I just like the output from ChatGPT a bit better for writing. Here I'm using GPT-5. Feel free to change the model. Okay, and here's the prompt. So we're going to analyze the following viral news story. Remember, we compiled a detailed report from the previous step. And now we're going to write a monologue script. So this is what the AI avatar is going to say. Feel free to tweak anything in this prompt. We're also going to write an SEO optimized caption that will be posted along with the video. And this is an example of one of my captions from TikTok. Feel free to replace this with your preferences. And then the last step is to write one sentence maximum maximum eight words. And this will serve as a title for the YouTube shorts. And it'll also be used for short forum text platforms like Twitter, Threads, and Blue Sky. And then here's what the JSON output should look like, script, caption, and title. Obviously connect your open AI account here. So the output of this first section in brown is the script, the caption, and the title, and we're now ready to create our avatar video. So what you're going to want to do is open up the setup HeyGen node. Mine is already filled out with my API keys and ID, so I'm just going to open this one at the bottom that doesn't have any information. So what you're going to do is copy your HeyGen API key, your HeyGen avatar ID, and your HeyGen voice ID. So if you're not familiar, HeyGen is an avatar building platform. In my opinion, it's the best one in the industry at the moment, although it is a little bit on the pricey side. You will have to sign up for the creator plan that starts at 29 bucks per month. And if you want to use the API, which is what we're doing in this workflow, you'll also need to sign up for their API plan, which starts at 99 bucks per month for 100 credits. Credits is equivalent to one minute of generated avatar video. So we're talking about 
100 minutes of avatar videos. Once you've signed up for those plans, you can either make your own avatar or just start with a public avatar here. There's already a lot of avatars that you can choose from. I'm going to use one of my avatars to start with. So you can see Sabrina main. I have like a bunch of avatars here. Hover over the avatar you want to use and sit and click copy avatar ID. It should not say copy group ID. It should say copy avatar ID, avatar ID field here, and then go to your voices. I personally hook up my Hey Gen avatar with 11 labs voice, but you can also just use the voice that was made with your avatar video in the first place. Choose the voice you want and click get voice ID, and then you're going to paste it here as well. And then for your Hey Gen API key, go over here, settings, subscriptions and API, Hey Gen API, and then click copy and then paste it over here. Has background video. I've set this to false since you'll be initially running it and it's a little more complicated if you want to use an image and video in the background. Uh, for now, just set it to false when you initially run through it. And then if you want to experiment with a video or photo behind your avatar, then set this to true. And then you'll want to replace this video URL with like your video URL. So now these are two different paths, depending on whether your avatar will have a background video. In this case, the top path runs, or if there's no background, the bottom path will run. So for everybody running this the first time, it should be the bottom path that's running. And here is the JSON. Um, so this just describes like your avatar, how big you want it to be, the voice, you can play around with some of these parameters, dimensions for short form social media. So it's aspect ratio 916 and the title as it'll show up in Hey Gen. You don't have to touch anything here. I'm just showing you what the code looks like. There are other ways to customize your avatar video, but you need to refer to the HeyGen API documentation, and then you'd have to potentially add or edit parameters here. And just to show you, when you do have a background behind your avatar, you'll add another object like this background. You can do type image or video, and then the URL to the publicly accessible image or video. Um, since it's a video, it has things like play style. You can just loop the video in the background. Offset is where you want your avatar to be. So for my videos, I usually shrink it a little bit and then move it to the bottom right corner. And then matting true refers to the green screen. If you want to use the version of your avatar that has a green screen, so you can replace the background with an image or video. So you have to set this to true if you want to pass in an image or video behind your avatar. And then depending on which path, this just merges it. You don't have to do anything. Here we have a wait step because it could take time for your avatar video to complete. I generally recommend waiting maybe maybe like five or eight minutes to be safe. So I'll probably release this template with a five minute wait. But if for some reason it, it fails, so it's gonna fail at the upload media step because the URL won't be accessible and ready yet. If it fails, it's just gonna wait again for the same period of time. Get avatar video, this just fetches the completed video when you're done. So we've covered here researching and writing the scripts and stuff. The second block here in red is to actually create the avatar video using HeyGen and then fetch the completed video. And then the last step here is to post everywhere using Blotato. So Blotato is an app that I built uh, to solve my own pain points as an AI education creator. I've grown from zero to 1.3 million followers uh, in just a little over a year with zero budget. I don't have a team and I don't do paid ads or anything like that. What you're going to want to do is sign up for an account. API access is limited to paying users, unfortunately. That's just to help me reduce spam. But if you are interested in using it to publish to social media, go to settings, API, and then generate your API key here. And the neat thing about this is the API dashboard makes it super easy to debug all of your requests. So this you can tell is just this morning, 11, 27 AM, click on a request and you can see exactly the request payload, the response, you can view the created post. If there's an error, you're going to see a clear error message here as well. So this is just really handy for debugging your workflow automation. So what you're going to want to do um, is make sure you have the Blotato node installed. So search Blotato when you add a node. Okay, for you, it, there should be an orange button that says install this. Make sure you install the Blotato node before importing this workflow. Otherwise, like there's going to be a bunch of question marks here and stuff. And then this step, you don't have to touch it. Upload media. This will just grab the URL of the completed avatar video, upload it to Blotato servers. And then the nodes here 
here are to actually publish to the social platform. So if I open TikTok, I'll remember to create a new credential and then just paste the API key that you got from settings over here, copy API key, paste it over here, hit save. And then all you have to do is choose the platform and then you're gonna see a drop down list of your accounts that you've connected. So I'll show you that real quick. Make sure you connect all of your accounts and settings. On the starter plan, you can connect up to 20 social accounts. So you could connect multiple TikTok accounts, multiple Instagram accounts. You don't have to touch anything else here, but there are lots of uh, platform specific parameters. If you wanna schedule a post for later, click add option, schedule time. You can fill this out programmatically as well. And that's just gonna post to TikTok. So same thing here for LinkedIn, like you just choose your accounts. You can also publish to a LinkedIn page. So you'll be able to choose the page that you uh, have connected. It's the same thing for Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, slightly different. So here, instead of using the really long caption, which could exceed the Twitter character limit, I'm just gonna use this short one sentence title. That's the main difference. And I do that for Twitter, Blue Sky, and Threads. For Threads, you could probably get away with using the caption, right? Because Threads is a generous character limit of 500 characters. But just to be safe, I'm gonna use the title here as well. If you do want to add like another post to your thread, you can click add thread here. For example, a lot of people like to have a thread with like a CTA. So you comment on your own post, maybe with a link to something, and then another post could have a CTA. So it's very flexible what you can do with potato and then YouTube the only difference here is it takes the video caption as well as the title for the short then Pinterest you can get your board ID in potato by going to create post creates a draft Pinterest post it can literally be anything uh, let's just upload any file what are my YouTube thumbnails that I want to test and then click publish you're going to see a list of your Pinterest boards here select the board that you want to use and here is the board ID over here to Pinterest board ID and additional options for Pinterest interest over here. So that's pretty much it, how the entire workflow works. It is really powerful. And I do recommend deactivating all of these social posting nodes, like try it with just one first and then activate another one, then activate another one to make sure everything's going smoothly. If you're new to N8N, you can do things like pin data. So basically, instead of having to rerun all of this stuff, which takes a while, um, you can just pin the data here and then start testing one at a time. So if you're new to N8N, just click this play button and it's going to only post to TikTok or here, only post to Facebook. If you want to deactivate it, you just click this power button like this so it won't accidentally post or anything. And then just a couple tips, like I mentioned in the beginning, if you do want your avatar with a background video, it should run through this node at the top here. And what you're going to want to do is open up your setup HeyGen node and set the value has background video, set it to true. And then you're going to have to pass in the URL of the image or background video you want playing behind your avatar. I also added a helpful link here. So if you're kind of new to avatars in general, this is a step-by-step -step tutorial how to create a high quality HeyGen avatar and Eleven Labs voice clone. So just follow this first if you don't even have an avatar and you're confused about how to make it like really high quality. And in terms of error handling, the most common error that I see isn't this upload media step. So if your avatar video isn't completed yet and you try to upload it to Blotato, obviously you're going to get an error because there's no video, so there's nothing to upload. So that's why I created this error flow here. So if that happens, like 99% of the time, it's just because your video is not ready yet. So it's going to go back here and wait a little bit longer until your video is completed. Um, the other reason it may not be completed is if you are not on the HeyGen API plan. Like I said, it is expensive. It starts at 99 bucks per month and it is required to even have this flow working. I know they give you 10 credits, I think, for free, but you'll burn through those very quickly and have to upgrade to the paid API plan. And the last thing I'll point out is you can go to blotato.com, publish posts on the left, and you'll see your published post here to these are all my avatar videos published to multiple platforms. If I click view for Facebook, for example, it's going to take me directly to my avatar video. And if there is an error, again, you can go to the API dashboard and it'll say error in red, click on it, and then there'll be an error message here. Good news, like I said at the beginning, you don't have to build this entire workflow from scratch. I'm going to make it available in the video description. There's going to be a Google Drive where you can download the templates. This is for N8N. I'm going to make another 
another one in the future for make.com and another one for Zapier. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. The best way to reach me is to go to blotero.com and click this orange button on the bottom right corner. Click send a message and my AI bot will try to answer first. It does do a good job of like most general questions. But if you are having uh, really annoying issues with your workflow automation, I'm happy to help. So yeah, this is the best way to reach me and don't hesitate.